Hello once again, it's your boy That Snow Moon back with another episode of Line Em Up and Lube Em Up. And that's basically what this Grand Arena, the first four rounds have been. They have been pretty impress- impressive displays. And we're up against a single GL owner. He's pretty much got all the requirements needed for Sith Eternal, just hasn't got there, may well be farming them yet. So we have got a little bit of uh, an advantage here, certainly with the GLs. And my thoughts on this are, you know, as I've said this before, I am super glad that the new changes are coming in. It's not going to punish you as much for getting those characters and relics done before you actually unlock the GL. It will go on depth of roster as opposed to just pure GLs. So we're looking at a fairly interesting, I definitely did not expect him to go as heavy on defense. So actually, this is going to be pretty interesting. And looking at this front wall, you know, 277 on the Bosque, uh, he's definitely the squishiest. So I do have a rough plan for this. Uh, Boba tends to be the absolute squishiest, easy to kill first. Um, we've got Mando in there as well, mm, around about 250. Grief is always a nightmare in there as well, but, you know, these guys have been putting in work all season, even without any mods on Moff Gideon. He unfortunately still has no mods on him at the moment. Big, big error in terms of locking in for that um, that Forest Moon event, and um, yeah, forgot to put his mods back on. So let's see if we can get off to an early curve. We can kill Boba before, oh, look at Bosk. Let's see if we can get out there, out the gates, and get a kill on Boba. Because essentially, this team is just pure termitas. There we go. There's one. There's two. And we're looking in pretty good spot here. I think I'd probably then take out Mando next. We Yes, we can strip the TM. And yeah, this, this one looks all but over already. Uh, pop the armor shred in on Bosk again, hit a little bit harder on him, but they will fall pretty hard. Yeah, here comes the death mark. That is all she wrote. So this one not really being punished this Grand Arena for, uh, or these first two rounds for, no mods on Gideon. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Troopers completely OP at the moment, so... Now, I thought with this one, the First Order are actually quite messy to get good banners with. There's a lot of AoEs here, so I need something that's going to be relatively cheap. The My Grief Cargo is pretty trash, but you do get double protection under Bosk, so there's an outside chance. Obviously, OG Kylo goes with his um, uh, AoE, then it's going to be pretty much bad news, but... Um, I think I get some burning out there, so they don't... Oh, no, it's just his leader, isn't it, when when he's leader? I was thinking, oh, yeah, well, I'll stop him getting bonus two meter, but I think I get some more ability blocks out here. We are going to take a hammering first and foremost. Yeesh. There, that's a lot. Right, let's flip the script here. Let's get... There we go. We're on to contract now. And... Yep, let's start working on getting some banners back, actually. I think big hit in here. Nice big hit. I think we can take him out here. Nice stun. Maybe not even take him out. Big shot. The wrist rocket just does nothing. See if we can get another stun here. We did, which was good. Oh, perfect. They're going for damage immunity. Oh, big AOE. But big, big counters coming in from... Oh, gosh. There we go. So that's him done. AOE, recover the banners. Don't get greedy with the banners. Just recover the banners. <laughs> and there we go. Captain Rex knows all about not getting too greedy with banners. But this felt like a, a decent win because there's plenty of potential there for this fight to go south. And yeah, we've got an interesting bat lineup. We've got Geos, some decent relic Geos. And we've got Padme as well. We've still got that Supreme Leader Kylo staring us in the face. Um, but, as I said, first and foremost, we've got to get through Grievous. And just very quickly, while we're having a watch of Grievous, as I said, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Subscribe. We are very, very close to uh, 1,700 subscribers. 
It'd be really nice to hit that sort of within the next few days or a couple of weeks or whatever. Um, so if you do regularly watch these videos and you're not subscribed for some reason, uh, I know on YouTube people tend to be a little bit stingy with their subscriptions, but if you want to see a little bit more of this in your algorithm, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And very quickly, there is a Discord as well. If you do want to chat more Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, getting advice on the game, etc., then you're more than welcome to come in or just hang out and chat with other like-minded people as well. And we rejoin the battle for... Yeah, this is pretty ropey. This isn't good. There's not a huge amount of plague out there at the moment for the for the reason that I don't really want to get marked up. I kind of want to take this a little bit slower and make sure that I can actually revive a few here. Eesh, that big droidica went for Daka. Um, nice. That Well, that's actually nice because I can now revive again. Get rid of that taunt. Okay, there she goes. Big AoE there. Bit of defense down. And yeah, there's... We're not quite at a revive yet. Yeesh, there's... Um, let's get her revived up. I think that was about 92,000 health. So here we go. Nice big hit. Let's bring him back. So now this feels a lot safer. Um, in this point of the this point of the matchup, it feels a huge amount safer when Daka has actually got a few um, a few revives out there and almost like the Jolie. Yep. Yeah, let's bring him back. Okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna get double hit here probably. Nice, bring him back. B2 is probably about to go here, so, yep, let me give that. Let's bring him back. So now she's going to be pretty indestructible. So let's deal with Droidica, then let's go into deal with Grievous. But yeah, Night Sisters, I think this is such a good, um, such a nice counter. Again, it's only gonna, ever going to be 55 banners, but if you can get it right, I think this is a team really really worth investing in just bring him back there they go and now the rest is pretty much easy so there we go so how have your grand arenas been so far uh this one's going to be a little bit of a chit chat because uh it's grand Ar well, sorry not grand arena night it, well it is grand arena night but it's also formula one night so i have managed to avoid all the spoilers i'm a big formula one fan so i've managed to avoid all the spoilers do not know the results i'm just about to watch this as it's going out so there we go, 55. So I'm not in a rush per se. I'm, you know, I'm going to get this done and then I'll go straight into the Formula One and watch that. And fingers crossed, it's a good one. Um, right. Supreme Leader. Yeah, there's a lot of Americans that watch, uh, weirdly enough. When I have a look at demographics, a lot of you are Americans. So uh, it's basically like NASCAR on speed, um, if that makes sense. It's basically really souped up go-karts. Um, you know, I know a lot of you like your NASCAR and stuff, but Formula One is the one for me. Right, so I'm kind of thinking about leadership for this one. Definitely not Sky Guy. <laughs> I thought that was Jedi Knight Luke. Um, I do actually amend this. But Hermie Yoda is actually incredibly OP. I, I'll show you why, what I mean. Um, Bastler, I do actually like in there for ability block, dispelling taunts if needed. Uh, old Ben is just absolutely fantastic. Ability block, again, just keeping him under lockdown. And we keep Skywalker, uh, General Skywalker. So definitely want to go out here. A lot of ability blocks. Tenacity, that's why I tend to run a huge amount of tenacity on my Hux. He's not hard to get tenacious. Um, I think naturally or passively, he's about 90 or 100%. So I think it is incredibly important to run hucks with a huge amount of tenacity and speed they're the two most important things because when it comes to this counter you don't want see like hermit yoda there that's all you really need to do with it is just spam his button and okay yeah i think i will stun there um yeah baby moon is at the moment climbing all over me during this battle definitely not the time to be doing it so um there's a couple of bits in this video where she knocks the phone either out my hand or slams it and stuff like that so, um there we go yeah let's get that dodge up there perfect timing on that one let's call in hermit yoda to assist here against sith troop oh no jedi like luke right there we go um yeah let's put the buffs on him actually but weirdly hermit yoda actually does more damage than um 
than Jedi Knight Luke, I'll be honest. Mm, let's call in... Yeah, let's call in Luke again. He's pretty buffed up at the moment. Nice hit. We're looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, let's call in Yoda. Big hit from Hermit Yoda. Another one. Another one. Okay, let's get... Bit of Master's training there. Mm, this one's all she does. Let's go into Ultimate, just because... It looks pretty cool. Okay, job done. 59. I'll take that. GL for a GL is a fair trade. I genuinely, I'm not a proud man. I do not really mind soft countering for the simple point of soft countering. I think it's a very, very handy trade off there. 59 banners, especially for Kylo as well, because that can be very messy. Sith Empire, this one was incredibly slow. So Vader, no good here. Start off with this. Get the fear out there. There we go. And I'm notoriously bad for playing these. Big hit from Sith Marauder. Putting in absolute work. I think we, we've we got fear on HK there. I think we do probably go drain here as opposed to stun. I think I can kill her off quick enough. There we go. Mm. Let's put a big shock in there. Nice, nice big hit. Let's get rid of Sith Empire Trooper. Pretty good to go on Malak. And this match is all about speed, just superior speeds. Nice we got the taunt up there. So full banners, 60 banners on that one. The jobs are good. And uh, yeah, these two. So I think probably this one. Um, oh, yeah, I remember. Because I record this audio maybe a day after it happened. I remember I went feet hunting for this one. So I was like, well, I definitely need what tambour in there. But I thought, well, shall I like shore it up with shore trooper? And then I was like, oh, yeah, hang on a minute. Isn't there a feat that we've got to do where it's something stupid like Bo-Katan and Krennic and someone else as well? Uh, no, that was it. Maul, Bo and Rex. And then I realized after this battle that it wasn't these three. It wasn't Maul. It was uh, Rex's like kill characters with it. It was Gar Saxon I needed in there. So, yeah, pr yeah, I was trying a banner hunt, but I'm not really. I'm not really going for a top 200 finish or anything like that. I'm not going to do the ship's battle side of things. So, yeah, it's um, it's not too bad. We're having some fun with this one. And it's actually been a pretty entertaining Grand Arena just to try out some new counters because in terms of what we need, it's going to be, you know, when we come up against a really tough opponent, we're going to have a lot of different options in our arsenal. And I think it's good practice to go in with, like, a lot of the time, so we're going to get a free turn there from a kill from, well, not even a kill from Saber Toss. Oh, Bo-Katan. Right, we actually got a kill with Maul there. But I don't think I'll be doing that feat anytime soon anyway. So 57, I'm my own worst enemy there. Yeah, I misread the feat, unfortunately. Oh, Galactic Republic. few different ways I could go about this, but I think I'm probably going to try and make peace with the counter that went wrong last episode. So if you watched last night or watched last episode or last night or whenever it was, you will have saw I threw the turn meter over to Scion, misclicked, should have done Treya, clicked on Scion, and yeah, it's pretty bad news. So fifth, I never quite know who to bring in as a fifth on this one, because essentially the four are fine, but I can try Palpatine, get a few stuns out there, get Shocks, Shocks is great, um, no healing on Kenobi, etc. if I can isolate Padme. So let's throw this over and actually put it on Treya this time. So this is what I was trying to do. Isolate here. Probably put a little bit over there on Nihilus. Um, that's a pretty big hit. So now we fracture in here. It goes straight in. A little bit of bonus protection round, but we should be able to stun a couple of them. Let's get rid of those buffs. I think he's just left Padme open. God, I'm going to get cancelled again. Um, just left Padme wide open there. Yep, I did say it. I did go there. Uh, I wonder if it still works under Isolate. If you kill another member of Galactic Republic, whether Anakin gets his bonus turn. So let me try. Um, let's get rid of it. And let's try for, for the science. Right, get rid of it. 
okay, yeah, he definitely does get his bonus turn, even under Isolate. So from what was a pretty <laughs> a pretty sure fire counter, ooh, it's turned into a bit of ropey now. So um, yeah, I don't want to kill. I don't want to get tempted by the kill on Ahsoka here. I definitely want to repair up Thrawn there. I think I probably do fracture here. Mm, I wonder actually if I kill Ahsoka while he's okay. Yeah, he definitely does get another bonus turn, even at the fracture as well. Um, but obviously, he won't get that until there. Uh, so yeah, oh, uh, testing that's going particularly bad. All right, there we go. Nice big stun in there. Get rid of our two. Get rid of Anakin. Throw these benefit maybe on Sion. I'm, uh, no, I don't. Okay, lick the wounds, go home. 55 banners. Blech. Horrendous. And um, what have we got for ships? We have got Finalizer and we have got. Oh, nice. So that's not too bad. Don't mind that. And here is me checking my feats just to find out that it was Maul, Bokatan, Gar Saxon. That's who I needed not Rex. And there was the other one with Rex, Ahsoka and Maul. I basically mixed up both of them pretty badly. I didn't even complete one or the other. I just did a mix of both. Uh, Finalizer and Rebels. I actually really like the Finalizer counter with Rebels at the moment, as in countering Rebels with Finalizer. I think it's um, pretty good, pretty surefire, pretty good banners as well. Again, I think both are fine, you know, if you hold both fleets. But what I'm thinking of now and going forward is to actually start putting Negotiator on defense and being able to be a bit more of a ship's player. Who am I kidding? I'm not putting Negotiator on defense anytime soon. Um, but I guess the issue is I've got is Malevolence. So I don't mind using Malevolence to take out if they put a Kenobi on defense. But I'm trying to think if I kept my... If I kept my negotiator on defense, what would I take out just in case they put like something like Radus there? So going to have to have a look into that because obviously I would like to. I mean, Radus is a fine fleet as well. Empire I'm working on quite heavily at the moment. So it'd be interesting. And after these galactic, not uh, conquests, should have. When I say I should have, I don't. Um... But a lot of you will be getting the Razor Crest. Now, I won't because I don't have Bam unlocked, and I'm not particularly bothered, but I'm going to farm it, and I'm going to unlock him. But I'm not particularly interested in that squad. Uh, the reason being, I I actually don't think it's... I don't know. I'm... So, like, the squad itself is okay. IG is okay, and... The other one, this is the way guy is okay. I got Quill, that's his name. Um, they're okay, but it's such a heavy investment. Like, Bam is 600 Chirotech. It's absolutely ridiculous. I know Lycold doesn't really enjoy, I, I think he regrets getting um, getting Bam up to relics. I, I, get, I just don't think it's going to be supported. I don't think it's going to be... Um, I think it's just a B team, maybe. Maybe, an, well, sorry, an A minus team. I won't say a B team. Like, it's definitely better than Bounty Hunters. I guess it probably has its uses. But yeah, I think this one, no messing around. The weird lineup with Thai Bomber in there, I guess it kind of makes sense. Double tank. It kind of does, yeah. That's actually not a bad play putting in TIE Bomber there if you're a little bit short of ships. Because it is just a great taunting tank. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. We have got the burning out. Hmm, I think I go raw damage here rather than the counters. I think I come in and dispel and start working on a little bit of getting the goodies back. Uh, this is not so good. Okay, let's go. Big hit here. That was a big hit. Talk about shield disruptor. Uh, I think there is a way of actually getting the shields back, and this is it here. Yeah, so we managed it. So even though it disrupted our shields, we were able to get our shields back. So that's not particularly scary. 
I've got a target lock over the other side as well. I think I do take advantage of that. Oh, nice big hit. And we're coming up good to banners. Come on, give me a nice big hit here. AOE. Thanks. We got just the K. Uh, 63, that's all right. So this one, I will flash up a screen of how it finished. Um, nothing really happened. It finished on 889 or something like that. So I'll see you all next time.